click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and this subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, um, I've been studying dating coaches and pickup artists for about two years now and just started taking action last week. I'm based in Richmond, Virginia. I'm a 22 year old kissless virgin who has never even been on an actual date before. Last week, I approached eight women on a college campus near my home and either went direct and told them I thought they were attractive and if they wanted to get a coffee sometime and sometimes indirect and made an observational comment and introduced myself to them and then asked if they would like to uh, get a coffee sometime. Out of the eight approaches, I got two numbers. One of those numbers responded, but then vanished and the other responded and we set up a time to meet up and I totally thought I had a date and and that she was interested. I approached her in a park by making some ob observational comment and then introducing myself and asking her if she would like to get a coffee sometime. And she said, sure, and gave me her number. We were initially going to meet at a coffee shop, but it was closed. So we decided to meet at a park on campus. I followed your uh, date blueprint by first greeting her with a hug, which she reciprocated with a side hug. I then invited her to sit next to me on a bench. And for the first 15 to 20 minutes, I asked her uh, normal questions and tried to get her to open up, which she responded with mostly one sentence answers. Uh, after contributing to the uh, conversation, I asked if she wanted to part ways as she said. And she said, nah, we can hang out for some more time. I have nothing else to do. I said, OK, and stayed and decided to start getting more touchy uh, and flirty. Like you suggest, I told her, why don't you take off your backpack? And she said, nah, I like it on. And I slowly put my arm around her and started getting closer and closer to her and started flirting with her. She then said, you know what? I actually have to go. I then thought, OK, I'll go in for the kiss since this is the end. And when I did, she moved her head away and asked me what I was doing. And I told her that I was kissing her. And she said, yeah, no. And we parted ways. I texted her after and apologized for making a move on her. But that I thought I made my intentions uh, known with her from the start and that I thought this was a date. She responded by saying she was just trying to make new friends and that she is in a happy relationship. I was so frustrated and confused to hear this. All the other girls I approach in the same way seem to take the hint that I'm asking them on a date and respond accordingly with something like I have a boyfriend or I'm talking to somebody, someone. I wonder if this was actually a date and that she was just one of those low to medium interest girls and that I, I just got touchy and flirty and went for the kiss too soon or if this was never a date and that she actually just thought I was just trying to be friends with her and misinterpreted my intentions. My confidence is beat um, down because I totally thought I had a date for the first time in my life and that she was into me at at least some level. And now I'm scared to go approach again because I'm worried the same situation will happen and that no girls are really going to feel me like that. And at best, will want to uh, be friends with me. What do you honestly think about the situation and how to move forward? Was she actually into me at all? Um, and was this a date? Was this a date or was she not into me at all to begin with and thought we were just hanging out as friends? All right. So um, this is the thing. Man, see, what I want to first commend you on is that you're actually out there uh, taking action you understand but you just basically said that you just started taking action last week so you, you're just starting to get into this and now you're talking about quitting after <laughs> after one date and you're like i'm done right and see that's not that's not the move that's not that's not what you should do but i'm gonna point out some things in here that um you need to take notice of when you're out here doing what you're doing right now first of all this is why i tell you guys it's a numbers game because you approach eight girls and you got two numbers and you went out with one chick right now that you know that you have the ability to do that then you can do that again 
you can approach another eight women and then probably get two numbers and then go out with one and then do that again approach another eight women you understand what i'm saying so it's a numbers game so you know that you have the ability to do it you can just do it again and find a new woman right now this woman that you were dealing with obviously was not interested in you but see when you're new at this and when you're not really out there you know and well versed in a game what you don't understand is you don't understand the signs of when a woman isn't interested right so you said that you approached her and you tried to give her a hug and she reciprocated with like a side hug so from the jump she's already showing you that she's not really interested in touching you or getting close to you like that by giving you a side hug you see what i'm saying when a woman is really interested in making something happen she'll give you that tight bare ass hug and you know be rubbing your back and all that other stuff and you understand what i'm saying it'll be that type of a hug you understand and which is why i'll tell guys yo give the chick a hug and see how she responds to that because that's going to tell you a lot about what's going to happen as the date goes on now it doesn't necessarily mean all the time that if the girl gives you a side hug that it's a wrap but it's a good indication in most cases of how interested she might be in you and also how comfortable she is touching you from the jump right so you you know you gave her that side hug and she was you know you gave her the hug and she gave you the side hug so she, that was already a sign right there right then you were talking to her and she was just sort of you know giving you one word or one sentence answers and not really responding now at that point when you were saying hey you know you're asking her hey do you want to just end this and she's like nah i ain't got nothing else to do i'll just sit here and chill with you right you don't need to ask a woman do you want to end this if you want to end it you just end it you understand you could just be like well listen look this it looks like we ain't really connecting here so i'm gonna just keep it moving you have a nice day and you could do that you understand what i'm saying but one of the biggest things overall that i want you to understand when it comes to this and a big mistake that you made and a lot of guys make this mistake and it's you know it's it's ridiculous that this is, that this has to happen is that when you're interacting with the woman right you have to pay attention to how she's responding to you so that you can know how to move forward because after all of this and you know she was like oh you know what i gotta go and all this other stuff you still went in for a kiss after she's shown all of these signs that she was not interested you understand and see what happens is a lot of you guys what you're doing is is that you're not paying attention to the woman and you're just doing things you understand you're like okay i want to you know get her number i want to get her on a date i want to you know uh, uh kiss her i want to you know touch her. i want to do all this other stuff which is fine but at the same time, you still have to pay attention to how she's responding to you. So she's responding to you in a way where she's being sort of standoffish. She's not really trying to, you know, flirt back with you. She's not really trying to have a conversation with you, right? She's talking about, oh, listen, I got to go. I got to run. You understand? Like she's trying to leave. That signs that she's not really interested. And then now at this point, you're trying to go in for the kiss. It doesn't make sense. Why? Because she's showing she's not interested you see what i mean so what happens is, is that when you're out here interacting with these women they have to show that they're interested and then you move on to the next step right so let's say for example you was on this date and you come she you came through and she gave you a big ass hug and she's like oh hey what's up and y'all going back and forth and she's asking you a bunch of questions and then y'all are flirting and you're getting touchy feeling and she's touching you back right and then at that point and she's not talking about you know uh she needs to leave and she's just there having a good time right and y'all are going back and forth and, and y'all are getting close then yeah at that point it makes sense to kiss her because she's showing that she's having a good time she's showing that she's flirting with you she's showing that she's interested in being in the same space with you right so then you can go in for the kiss at that point when, you know, y'all are flirting, y'all are touching, y'all are getting close, you're holding her or whatever like that, y'all y'all that close to each other and then you go in for the kiss and then y'all kiss. But all of those things have to be shown first before that can happen. And in your situation, none of these things were shown. None of these things, she, you know, she done told you, hey, you know, uh, I gotta go. 
she gave you the half hug she fucking giving you one word answers one one sentence answers and not really like you know responding to you and then you still continue just to try to get the kiss and the thing is is because you wanted that to happen so bad you weren't looking out for what was going on see what you guys have to understand is that every girl you you uh holler at or go on a date with is not going to work out is it every girl's not going to work out and it's okay so just because this girl didn't work out or shit didn't go the way you expected it to go doesn't mean you have to d just throw in a towel and give up and oh i'm scared this is going to happen again let me let me let me let me uh let me give you some some good news and some bad news okay let me give you some good news and some bad news okay the bad news is that this type of situation where you're out on a date with a woman that doesn't work out right this type of situation is going to happen again that's the bad news now the good news is is that this type of situation that you're in where the girl isn't feeling you is going to happen again you understand what i'm saying that's the good news and the bad news right and what i what i'm saying what the reason why i'm saying that is because that is part of the game you understand you cannot avoid that that is part of the game you are going to go out with women and some of these women you are not going to click with they're not going to like you this shit is not going to happen right and in this situation what it sound like was was that this chick she was just on some attention whore shit you understand she came to the date to my oh I just, I just thought we were gonna be friends you understand what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> she's like i thought we were just gonna be friendly now she could be bullshitting but there are times where chicks actually aren't are, are on some attention horse shit like that where they'll they'll literally go out and 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 use that as as their their thing oh well i just told your friends i thought we were just hanging out and chilling because they really weren't that into you in the first place and they just used you as something to do just like she said you was like you was like look we can end you you basically asked her hey do you want to end this and she's like no i ain't got nothing to do I can I can spend more time here wasting time with you and have you give me this attention. You understand what I'm saying? But then see, when you started to try to flirt with her and, and make it a little bit more, you know, touchy feely, that's when she was like, oh no, I, okay, I gotta go. Because see, what happens is, is that attention whores wanna take and they don't wanna give anything. So when it's time for them to give, that's when they bail. You understand? That's what I'm saying. She was on some attention horse shit. You see what I mean? But what you have to do is you have to pay attention. Right? To how the girl is responding to you. And you have to understand that every chick that you, you know, go on a date with is not going to be a date that goes the way you want it. It's going to be girls you're not compatible with. There's going to be girls who you don't click with. Some girls, they're not going to like you. You're not going to like them. It is what it is. You understand what I'm saying? But don't let this stop you. Like, again, like you said, you you said you were studying a game for two years and then you finally went out and did something this week or whatever, or the past week, right? And now because of this happening, you are like, I want to give up. I'm telling you, it's going to happen again it's gonna happen again get prepared look forward to it you understand what i'm saying it's going to happen again i guarantee it you understand but you don't have to sweat it you just keep it pushing and move on to the next girl and then you'll find the women who want to fuck with you you understand but just understand that every date ain't gonna be the situation that you expect it to be you just keep that shit pushing and you move on and remember you have to pay attention to the situation to see if the girl is interested or not you understand and she's gonna be she's gonna show interest right by flirting back with you by being touchy-feely with you also right and wanting to actually kiss you and do all this other stuff when a girl's not feeling you, she's gonna give you the half hugs and the, you know, and the one word answers. And she's gonna, you know, seem like she's all uncomfortable in a situation. And she's gonna be, you know, acting all weird and boring and goofy. And you'll be like, what the hell? Like, I'm trying to, it's, it's gonna feel like you're pulling teeth. And at that point, you could just end the date. Like, listen, this look like it ain't working out. 
uh, you know, we can end this right here. You, 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 you keep it moving. You understand? I'm gonna keep it moving too. Good luck. And that's it. All right. So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.